Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks with Geeks. My name is Radhika, and in this video, we are going to talk about eight reasons you can choose Java if you're looking at learning a new programming language to develop your programmatic skills or any other reason for that matter. So let's get into the video. The very first reason that comes to my mind is that top companies are using Java. Now, Java is there in the market for more than 20 years now, and it is a very, very stable language, and it is widely used by top IT corporations. According to Stackshare.io, around 10,008 companies use Java in their tech stack, including companies like Google, Netflix, Facebook, Airbnb, Uber, etc. Now, they do not completely rely on this language and they do use other uh, new technologies as well, but a major chunk of their components do uh, use Java as their technology. Which brings me to my next point. Since all these companies are using Java in their tech stack, it is of no wonder that highly trained and uh, skilled Java developers are in demand and they are offered handsome amount of salary as well. According to uh, Glassdoor.com, the average base pay for an entry-level Java developer is around 5 lakhs per annum, which can go up to 30 lakhs per annum with growth in your experience and uh, skills. The next reason is the huge community support that Java has. We have already talked about how Java is widely used by thousands of developers from entry level to experts all across the world since so many years now and that lays the foundation for the huge online community that we have for Java and there is no question about how important these online community supports are for any developer. According to the Stack Overflow survey of 2021 of most popular programming languages, Java was in top 5 and another index called Tayobi Index ranked Java at third position in the most popular programming languages list. Moving on to the next point, which I again believe is really important while making a decision to learn any language is the resources that is available for that language. Now, since Java is such a mature language, there are thousands of quality material and tutorials available on the internet, free of course, for you to learn from. You just have to know where and how to look for it. In addition to that, the official Java documentation is excellent and that makes your journey of learning to code super smooth and easy. Moving on to the next reason which is the huge number of applications that Java has. Now I always say that the choice of languages largely depend on the purpose that you're going to use it for. But a lot of times you don't have a very clear image on uh, the purpose that you're going to use any language for, especially for students. And at times like that, uh, the choice of language becomes very difficult. In such situations, a good idea would be to choose a language that would keep the doors open for you for opportunities in various fields. And this is where multiple applications of Java becomes relevant. We all know that Java is widely used for developing Android applications. Now, of course, there are other languages as well, but Java is well established in that area. Apart from that, Java is also used in web applications, desktop applications, enterprise applications. Also, Java is the reason why the leading big data texts like Hadoop have become a reality. In conclusion, if you learn Java, you'll definitely have multiple opportunities waiting for you in future. The next point is the powerful development tools that is available for Java. Now, this is something I understood the importance of only after when I started working in a, a company with real projects. When you harness the powers of these development tools effectively, the productivity increases manifold and you are able to manage the workflow of your project in a much better way. There are many integrated development environments aka IDEs such as Eclipse, NetBeans available for Java which provide functionalities like uh, debugging, code refactoring, auto completion, syntax highlighting etc which makes your coding very easy and faster. The next reason is that Java has an abundant API and multiple open source libraries. API is basically application programming interface and it is a software component that comes bundled with JDK. There are uh, two types of uh, APIs. One is official core Java API and other one is optional APIs that can be downloaded separately. These APIs consist of Java classes, uh, packages and interfaces. And there are um, open source libraries which is basically like a third party 
party library which you can add to your project either by adding the jars of these libraries to your project's class path or by using Maven for dependency management. Both of these things enable the programmer to use a pre-written code for functionalities which are often used and thus support reusability. This saves programmer to rewrite a code of common use again and again and hence save their time and energy which they can in turn use in some other more productive area. An example of API would be JDBC API which we use to connect to databases every time we want uh, to perform certain transactions and some very useful open source libraries would be Log4j library which is a logging library which is uh, actually used in almost every real world project and then there is JSON parsing libraries like Jackson or JSON which is again a very widely used uh, open source libraries. The next and the last reason would be that Java is extremely portable. That is because Java is a platform independent language, which essentially means that you can develop and compile your Java program in any platform or OS, uh, say Windows, and then run it on any other OS or platform, say Linux. This shifts your focus from writing a platform uh, dependent language taking care of the platform and you can solely focus on your business logic. Write once and run anywhere was the motto that was created by Sun Microsystems to illustrate the benefits of uh, Java cross-platform. With that, we have come to the end of the video. I hope with all these points, uh, your decision of choosing a language has become a little easier. Let me know in the comment section below how did you like the video. I will be back with another video very soon. Till then, bye-bye.